What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. As you can see, I am not in my studio today. I came outside because today I am testing a power station and I thought it would be more meaningful to try to get outside and actually use my power station to power this massive light I got. And I'm gonna test out a few things such as a portable heater, a mini projector and whatnot. I also have a solar panel option that they have to try to charge this so if you're going to be outdoors for an extended period of time you can continue to try to charge this thing i'm going to try to cover as much of it as i can if i miss anything definitely ask a question in the comment section below and i'll do my best to try to answer all your questions if this is the first time you're stopping by thank you so much if you enjoy content like this putting these videos together takes a long time so consider subscribing and don't forget to smack that like button let's get to it so before I lose any more lights, I'm gonna go ahead and do the unboxing so we can see what's inside the box. And then I'm gonna hook it up to my light and tell you more about this power station and about the optional solar panel that we get with this thing. So inside the box, you get this accessory box and you get this monster of a power station. Uh, this is their G500 model, basically it's 500 watts and they have units as small as 350 watts all the way up to, I think, 2,000 watts. So depending on the usage, you can consider see which option may work best for you. So let's check out this accessory box real quick, see what kind of goodies we get inside of this thing. And it's quite a bit, so I'm gonna try to lay it down here. This is the charger we get. It actually charges at 100 watts and it takes six hours to charge using this when you plug it into uh, your wall outlets. Uh, you also have uh, this connection. This is uh, your AC adapter. And then I think this may be for your solar panel. I don't know, I have to check it out. So this thing weighs uh, about 15 pounds and uh, you have most of your IOs and your digital display up front. So this is your DC out and this is your power in. Uh, you have your buttons up here, uh, power on off, lights on off, and the lights in the back, and then AC on off. This is for your AC outs. So when you want to use these AC out ports, you actually have to first turn on the device itself, and then you have to turn on this AC out. This is where your exhaust fans are, so when you plug something in, this is where the hot air will come out. In the back, we just have that LED light. Let's see what options we get. So it looks like it's only one color. We don't have any strobe or anything like that, but it is actually fairly bright as you can see. So if you're out camping, I can definitely see uh, this could come very handy, even in your backyard. All right, so let's check out the ports. One, two, three, USB type A. We also have a USB type C. It has power delivery, 60 watt max, so you can still directly charge your MacBook with this. Yes, MacBook Pro needs 100 watts, but with 60 watt, you can still charge it. And if you have a MacBook Air, this will be just fine or any other laptops. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the product itself. I like the uh, color combo. Uh, it is matte finish, and the good news is it does not show any fingerprints. Oh. And last thing, you actually have a Qi charger on top. So real quick, I just wanna show you what I have hooked up right now. So this is my light that I'm using. I brought from my studio and I just simply went and plugged it right in here. So we're gonna check the wireless charger real quick. Boom, so if you go to their website, you see portable power station, and then you have power banks, which are definitely smaller, so go to portable power station. So you can see they have total of six options. You have the G300, G500, uh, 600, 1000, 1500, and 2000. I almost think even if you're not an outdoorsy person, every household needs something like this. You just never know when you're gonna need it. Uh, to have it in the car, to have it in the house. Uh, so if you're gonna get it, I would say get at least this size, don't get the 300. Uh, if you wanna get something bigger, I would say skip the 600, consider 1000. As far as price points, uh, this is 400 bucks without the solar panel. And when you get to 1000, you are doubling the amount of power you get, but the price is not doubling up. It's only $200 more. So my AC is still on. 
Let's plug it in. That's a good sign. The light came on, but let's see if it can actually produce heat. So it definitely started working. And this is how you know the reviews are legit and these are not sponsored reviews. Uh, so I just want to tell you what just happened. Uh, when I had the heater on, it did work for about 30 seconds and then, then it did trip, which is good and bad. The good thing is it talks about the safety features that this thing has. So if a device cannot somehow handle something, then um, it's gonna try to protect itself. On the other hand, the downside of it is it uh, wasn't able to keep the heater going. To be fair, heaters are one of the most demanding products because of the high wattage and high currents that they use to try to stay on. So just gonna keep that in mind. Next, I have a projector I want to test out. Yeah, so it definitely has this connected and it is turned on. As you can see, I'm gonna leave the projector turned on on the side for the entire of my shooting to make sure I can have two devices connected and keep it going. The solar panel is either 100 or 80 watts, if I remember correctly. They claim you can still charge this fully with the solar panel in seven hours, which is extremely impressive because when you plug this into your wall and you want to charge it, it takes six hours to charge this from zero to 100%. These are your connecting ports. Unfortunately, it's at nighttime. I can't actually plug it in and get any sun to show you it's charging, but I want to demonstrate what you have inside and how you will connect it. So you have this extra pouch outside, which you get your main cable here. I love the fact that they have an extra pouch just for the cables you need this is the stand look at that it's magnetic and the material in case if you're wondering looks like it's hard plastic so it is somewhat lightweight it folds really nicely and you have total of four panels two large panels and two small panels Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. One, I don't have any light to actually be able to test this, but I want to be able to give you the right instructions so you know which cable you need to use because there are a couple different options. I'm gonna research this, figure this out, and I'm gonna wrap up this video back in my studio with my conclusion. So honestly, it's been a while since I've had a product that I was this excited about reviewing it. First of all, I had to wait a couple of days before I can get some sun. It was so yucky here cloudy, rainy and everything. So I finally got a chance to go outside and test this panel in the light. And I wanna tell you a little bit more about all the different cables you get and whatever else you may need to know. So this small cable, this actually came with the power station itself. And you have this fancier cable that came with this panel. Uh, by the way, the official weight of the panel is 11.5 pounds. So when you look at the power input uh, right here, the power in, you actually have two ports. The one at the top is the one you use when you want to charge it using uh, just your power outlet. But then you also get this adapter right here that comes with the battery that will go in the same slot as well. Technically, you do not need this extra cable that came with the panel if you just want to hook it up to uh, this power station. Um, you have this male and female on this end of the adapter and you have the same thing on the panel. You just plug the two together and then you have your power in. The other thing I want to let you know, while you are charging, you are able to continue to use the USBs that are provided in the front, but you're not able to activate and turn on your AC out and use these plugs right here. After all that, what is my final conclusion? I think I told you that Every household needs to have a power station at their disposal. You simply don't know when you're gonna need one. And definitely, this is not a budget solution if you're gonna spend 400 bucks or to get the add-on panel as well. Obviously, the price is gonna get higher. The build quality is really good. It's very solid. As a matter of fact, I did drop this earlier this morning from probably a solid foot and dropping a 15 pound weight from a foot that uh, is definitely concerning, but after that, it was 
charging my devices and I was able to charge the power station itself. So other things I don't like about this, at this uh, amount of power you get, obviously, it's the simple physics of what you can or cannot plug in and charge. Outside of that, when it comes to the design, again, me being very nitpicky about this thing, I suspect I'm gonna be using this outdoor a lot. Uh, I think it will be cool to have some of these edges to have it's like soft rubber, so it will be bang proof. So as you're carrying this from your car, you bang against a wall or a tree or whatever the case might be, you have a little bit more protection on these edges. And the other thing is, it would be cool if that would give us a little bit more options with this LED, maybe different colors, uh, different effects, or whatever the case might be. LEDs are cheap, and I think that would be a really cool way to take this to the next level. Do I recommend this? Absolutely, but like I said, you have to think of it from an investment perspective, and if you're gonna get it, like I said, I think the 1,000 watt it's not a bad deal because you're doubling the amount of power you get, but you're not doubling up the price. Hopefully this covered everything. If you got any questions, if I missed anything, drop a comment down below. I do the best to try to read and answer every single one of them whenever I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.